Electric car video number one. During this year and a half of working on this car, I have been filming pretty much everything. I have accumulated a lot of video footage. I wanted the first video that I put out to be the test drive. I've been holding back on publishing any videos about the process until I was sure that I could actually get this thing on the road. Now that I've got it running, I'm going to go back and edit up a bunch of videos about the process that I went through to get this car to this point. So if you're interested in seeing how I did it, subscribe and hit the bell. Then every time I post a new video, you'll get a notification. It's test drive time. Here's the bug. It's all set. Good enough for test drive. So here we go. <laughs> Forklift motor, uh, supposed to run on 48 volts. We've got it running at 96 when it's max throttle. Uh, this is the motor controller I got from Hungary, from eBay. This is a main contactor relay that I got out of the forklift. Uh, a lot of the wires came out of the forklift. There's a 96 volt to 12 volt DC converter there. And then a battery pack here that I got from China. That's lithium iron phosphate, um, 100 amp hours, 96 volts. All right, gas pedals here. Uh, this is... Ooh, this is a brake. Oh, son of a gun, that ain't gonna work that way. Well, we got these two. This is the brake. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Wait. And then this is the ignition thing. Here goes. Oh. Gas pedal. Uh-oh. Here goes. I've had this car about a year and a half, but I've had the idea or the desire to make an electric car for a whole lot longer than that. I think back when the first Tesla Roadster came out is when I decided I would love to have a homemade electric car. We're driving. Are we turning? Yeah, we're gonna go to the church. Oh no! <laughs> these girls, look at these girls in those soccer. <laughs> We did a lot of work on the suspension. We put in spring reinforced shocks, anticipating a heavier load than the original shocks were meant to carry. We also put in new steering rods and we put disc brakes on the front wheels. We're gonna stop with this and that stops the motor. And then we're gonna try it in third gear. The car does ride a little lower in the back than in the front right now. This motor I think is a little heavier than the original Volkswagen motor and I've got my battery pack in the back of the car. I'm sure that's why it's sitting a little lower in the back than it is in the front. Well, we're in third gear and we're going like 20? We don't have speed on Maybe 20 miles an hour? We're not going fast enough, that's for sure. Hey, people are honking that know what we're doing. Hi, test drive number one. I can't stop, I don't have brakes. <laughs> I do have fenders for this car. I just took them off to make it easier to work on. We got some improvements to make. Look at Gracie. I thought about making my own battery pack until I saw Rich Rebuild's little princess car go up in flames. The reason I got these lithium iron phosphate batteries is because they don't burn up as easy as some of the Tesla style batteries. Since I'm just kind of hacking this thing together, I figured I better get a safe battery until I really know what I'm doing and can build a battery pack safely. Oh, it's running. I mean, it works. The front wheels aren't very aligned. That's part of the problem here. The motor is out of a Hister E50, whatever the heck that means. It's a big old forklift. Okay, now we're gonna put it in reverse. Parts of the car are sanded down to the metal because my plan is to go bare metal, sand off all the paint and all the primer, and then just cover it in a clear coat to keep it from rusting. I've seen a couple other cars like this with the bare metal finish. It looks awesome. Okay. Hey. It didn't explode. Wait. Oh, it didn't explode. <laughs> hey, good job. Okay. Well. What's in here? We did it. You did it. <laughs> so I am concerned about how slow it was. It was not fast enough at all 
In fourth gear, it really couldn't get going. And in third gear, it got going, but we only got up to about 15 miles an hour. I have an assumption about what the problem is with the speed. The motor controller has a current limiter. I think the weight of the car uh, has increased the demand of the motor enough that it's reaching the current limit of the motor controller. So I'm gonna take the motor controller off. I'm gonna play with that dial on the current limiter, try and just turn it up all the way and give it another run. And we also have a amp meter to test and see what the current draw actually is. Here we go. So we turned the uh, current limiter all the way up and went for another test drive and it was better, but we had the amp meter on the battery uh, cable coming out and going to the motor controller. And it only got to about 150 amps. It should be able to go higher than that. So we think maybe our problem is that the batteries are just not made to put out more than 150 amps. Back in the bug, gonna do my own little solo test drive. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's not as fast as I want, but I'm not gonna complain, so. All right, step on the clutch. Flip this, flip this. Okay, this is a, the uh, electric brake. So we're gonna put it in reverse and then let off this, and we'll start going backwards. I'm looking for, I don't have mirrors. I don't have a backup camera, <laughs> that's for sure. I've got some fun plans for incorporating some cool LED lighting. I'm gonna do some fun stuff with turn signals and brake lights. It takes like four hands to drive this thing. If I wanna switch gears, I gotta flip this. Now I can put it in a different gear. We're gonna go into third gear. That should do. Let off that. Away we go. <laughs> I love that it has a sunroof and it works. I don't know what that was. I kind of like the low rider seats. These seats I got out of a junkyard, out of a Saturn coupe of some kind. I like them. They're small, they fit well, they're comfy, they look good. I need to build up the bottom of them a little bit so they're not quite so low, but I will keep them kind of low. In an old bug with a gas engine, you get a lot of rattling and clanking, and you don't hear all of the other rattling and clanking that I'm now hearing in this thing. Anyways, here we go. I have a lot of the original parts for this car, like the chrome, the door panels, and a lot of the dashboard stuff but I'm not gonna use most of it. I'm not really going for the classic restoration on this one. And I'd really like to get some sort of computer system in the car. Maybe a Raspberry Pi with a touch screen or Android Auto on a tablet or something like that. And I'll use that to play music and also to get information about the car, like temperature of the motor, voltage of the battery, and anything else I think I might need. I paid $1,000 for the car between the shocks and the brakes and a few other things we fixed up, we put about another five or $600 into it, plus the 200 for the motor, the 250 for the motor controller. The most expensive part by far was the battery pack. By the time I got it shipped here, it was almost $3,000. And honestly, I probably need a second battery pack just like it. With the one battery pack I have, I figure I'll get 40 to 50 miles of range. The motor's still spinning. You can hear it kind of like a heartbeat until I flip this little switch here, and then it stops. Okay. This little thing works like an electric clutch, too. Like, it stops the motor so I can shift gears. It's awesome. So I've worked on this for about a year and a half. And about a year of that, I spent just trying to get the motor mounted to the transmission. That was a lot harder to do than I expected. And the biggest problem is the size of this motor. It barely, barely fits. All right, I think that's enough. Turn it off now. Okay, all done. <laughs> I can definitely smell a little more warmth. Eh, it's warm. It's not hot, but it's warm. Same here. This is just 
not ice cold like everything else around here. The motor's a little warm. That's it. Successful test drive. It didn't explode. <laughs> well, that's it. Thanks for joining me on my first test drive. I still have a lot to do, but I'm dang happy with where I'm at right now. I'm gonna keep working on this thing, but when I'm done with this, I've already got the next and the next and the next car projects planned. That's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, adios. If you need help or wanna chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you wanna support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.